This very short demonstration shows some of the key current mirror generation features of HyperDevGen, which is Tanner EDA's high performance device generator. For this demonstration, we're using HyperDevGen integrated into version 15 of Tanner EDA's LEDIT layout environment. It's a very quick summary of some of the functionality we offer in the acceleration and automatic generation of current mirrors. A current mirror is a structure that would be used time and time and time again in virtually every single analog schematic. So if these structures can be automated and accelerated, you're going to get a significant productivity enhancement for your layout engineer. So let's look at some of the key technology behind our current mirror generator. One of the things we need to do, regardless of the current mirror, is we always need to specify the diode device or the reference device, which we can see here. We can specify the width, the length, the number of fingers, the multiplicity. Um, what we're also able to do is we're also able to specify the supply rail width and where we want the well contacts for that device. In addition to specifying the diode device, we all can also specify the number of mirrors and the scaling of each mirror. So in this case, we look at a very simple current mirror. We have a one to one current mirror where we've one unit and the scaling factor of that unit is 0.1. And let's just generate it here so we can actually see very quickly what we get is we get a very quick generation of a very simple current mirror. We have the reference device on the right hand side and the merge device on the, on the left hand side. Obviously this is a very simple quick current mirror. What we can also do with that current mirror is for the mirror device rather than scaling a one to one we can change this to be a one to two scaling. And what we get is we still get the reference device in the middle so it's close to each device and now we get the first half of the device on the right hand side and the second half of the device on the, on the left hand side. And this technology scales very, very quickly. So regardless of how complicated your current mirror is, we can generate it. Let's just look at a very simple schematic very quickly. What we have here is we have a current mirror along the bottom. We have a 10 over 0.5, number of fingers is two, multiplicity of one. Here, 10 over 0.5, number of fingers is also two, but we have M2 and similarly M2. So if we were to lay out this current mirror using HyperDevGen, we can click on the device, we specify 10 over 0.5, in this case we want number of fingers to be 2, um, we have 2 units and we're scaling each one to be twice. So we, we'll end up with a current mirror that will look, look like this. And this current mirror is now LVS and DRC clean. It's well matched in terms of linear process gradients. We have the connection to the gate done in metal one, so there's no charge build up in the gate, so there's no VT shift. So it's very, very well matched. Some other very nice features that we have is we can specify the supply rail width. In this case, we can increase it to be five microns. And similarly, each of the drains here, so each of these tracks here, we can also specify in terms of here, if we're carrying more current, if this was a two to a four, so the second one is carrying twice the current, we could say this is also two microns. And what will happen is your tracks will scale. In this case, the spacing spaces out because wide metal routing um, for wide metal spacing. So the spacing is increased. You can see as well in this area, we use multiple vias each time. So wherever we can actually, we always use at least two, but from there on in, we'll fill it to use as many vias as we can. Effectively, no matter how complicated your current mirror gets, we can do things like adding dummy devices. Um, if it gets very, very big, you can see what starts to happen is your current mirror starts to become quite elongated. Our technology also allows you to do a current mirror over a certain amount of rows. Uh, in this case, we're doing it over two rows. Your matching is also guaranteed each time, so it pays attention to your linear process gradients, STI or LOD. It's also WPE aware if it was a PMOS. Um, so it's very matching aware, it's very yield aware. We're always aware of double contacts, um, filling the arrays, double vias wherever possible. Um, and we're also using dummies in this device. So we're taking whatever current mirror you have and we're generating it at the click of a button, taking all that effort away from the physical designer, allowing them focus on things like floor planning, um, and other tasks rather than the ta like rather than these tasks that they would have to complete day in and day out.